Hi, Chrissy Shirley here in Hamilton, New Zealand, Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator. And um, have I got some interesting information for you? This is um, awarenesses, tools, information from Access Consciousness. The tools of Access Consciousness are very different to anything I've ever discovered. Some of them you know, some of them you don't know. Some of them you've already found and used to your own awareness, um, to your own advantage. And what you'll find is that the stuff that you do here that you already know, it validates that you already knew it and you might use it more consciously. So today we want to talk about choice comes first. What is it about choosing something that people think they have to have the money for it first? I think they can't choose something until they actually have the money. But guess what? If you wait until you have the money, how are you ever going to create your life? If you look back at your life and you see what you chose and what you created because you chose it first, you'll notice that it was the choice that came first. You didn't have the money and say, now I'm going to do that. You went, I'm going to do that. And that was the choice that created you having the money or the resources, the materials, whatever that you required for it to come about. Choice always comes first. And um, what, you choose, what you have in your life right now is as a result of what you have chosen already. So if that's the case, wouldn't it be good to start choosing a lot more. One of the ways you can start choosing or look at what you want to choose is to just see what you like. In terms of material possessions, you can see, oh, I like that car. I'll have one of those. I'm going to choose one of those. That doesn't necessarily bring it but it starts getting you looking in the direction of what you'd really like to have in your life. Even talents and abilities that you don't think you have, you can start asking for those. You choose them first. You ask for them. You say, I'm choosing to be that. I'm choosing to have that talent and ability. Can I give you any examples about that? I think probably if you look at every great musician, every great ballet, dan ballet, ballet, ballet dancer, every great dancer, every great Latin American Ciroc dancer, they've all chosen it first. And when they choose it, and sometimes actually you do need to choose more often than once sometimes, or in the case of people who are very, very wealthy, those people will have chosen it at a very young age. People who have grown up in very, very poor families will say to themselves, without even realizing it, I'm not going to live like this. I'm not going to live like this is a choice. I'm going to have money. When I grow up, I'm going to be rich. And they'll say it to themselves and that is what creates them going towards that. Every choice that you make will go in that direction. One of, the, one of the choices I make every day is choosing to be conscious. I'm choosing to be more conscious. I'm choosing consciousness as my life. And then with that choice, that takes me in that direction takes me in the direction of being more conscious. Choosing to be wealthy is all a choice. Choosing to be well off. Choosing I'm not going to have any more of this trauma and drama in my life is a choice. You can go, you know what, I'm going to have great relationships. I'm not going to have relationships with trauma and drama. I'm not going to have that anymore. And I will have wonderful relationships. I'm choosing that. So what would it take is a great question to ask. So if you were asking for something, 
do you have do you have your own house if you don't have your own house it's because you haven't chosen it so you might like to start asking what would it take to have my own beautiful house that I love and adore what would it take to have all the all the resources to take care of that house to maintain it to pay all the insurances and all the upkeep on that house what would it take what would it take what would it take to have that house a beautiful house what would it take to have a beautiful house that supports me and nurtures me and will take me forward into the, having the life that I truly desire what would it take so you could ask that every now and then whenever you think about it ask that question what would it take Whenever you think about something that you'd really like to have in your life, ask for it. What would it take? What would it take? What would it take? How do I know this? Years and years ago, when I first started doing Access Consciousness, I chose, probably didn't realize how much it worked, but I wanted to go to a class which was in America with the founder of Access, Gary Douglas, it was called a seven-day intensive class. And it was in America. And I asked every day, what would it take to go to that seven day class? And you can also ask, with, you can add with ease, joy, and glory on the end of it. Ask, what would it take to go to that class? Or I asked, what would it take to go to that seven day class with ease, joy, and glory? And every day I asked, what would it take to go to that class? And I never ever thought that I would. I was asking for it. I was just asking, what would it take to go to that class? And I think what that question does is it makes your choice get stronger. And it's really asking the universe, what would it take to go to that class? And it's amazing because the money showed up for it. You have to choose it first. You have to choose it without knowing how it's going to show up. Choose what would it take to have whatever I desired show up in my life. I'd like to have a fun life. So what would it take for more fun to show up today? And every question you ask is a contribution to the creation of whatever it is you're choosing. This is Chrissy Shirley here. These are tools from Access Consciousness. I love the tools of Access. They are amazing. And I'm so grateful for you listening to this YouTube um, this blog that I have made today about choice comes first. Maybe you might like to write that and put it up on your wall. Choice comes first. Remind yourself, it's not about the money. How does it get any better than this? Lovely talking to you. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye. Let's finish this. Here we go.